Hey there everybody, I have not done like a regular kind of video in a really long time. I did an ASMR video uh, where I processed some, you know, I just, I made some little cardboard things, uh, cardboard embellishments, which were a lot of fun and I plan to do more of that. But today I, I haven't, you know, really done a crafty-ish kind of video in a while, so uh, with me blabbering on and on and on about this and that and some of you said you missed that so <laughs> we're gonna blabber on and on and chitty chat and stuff like that I discovered that when I flip to uh, to start my Tuesday list here in my commonplace book and this is this is my commonplace I got it at the dollar store for a dollar I mean how much you know you just can't do any better than these little books and they are made in the USA and that just makes me happy 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 right there I want to add some juicy edges actually I thought I was gonna use this book just as a um, you know just kind of as a little little jot it down notebook but it and and I know you guys know this it you know you start out one way with a book and then it kind of morphs into something else and you know I mean before you know it you've got an art journal going and that really wasn't the intent of what you were supposed to be gonna do but you know your inner spirit said hey Let's make an art journal out of this. Let's let it be a daily planner, but let's make an art journal out of it too. So when the, uh, you know, when your inner creative is like yammering on and on and on about something, then a lot of times you just got to pay attention and go, okie dokie, <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. And sometimes, you know, you got to yell at it and just... Yes, okay, we're going to do that. So that is what we're going to do. We um, are taking, we're going to make juicy edges. So I've got some juicy edgy paper here. I like cursive writing in books. I think it's really interesting. And, you know, I don't really, I'm not into using a whole word. I, I like bits and bobs and bits and little pieces. I also have a little bit of, um, of so slow sewing kind of stuff here. So this is just going to be kind of a random off the cuff video. Speaking of cuffs, I have, um, my, I should have taken this shirt off. So we just had the, as a matter of fact, I'm going to do that. I've been, um, outside you know it's just like one of those days where it's summer and when it's summer in the sun and winter in the uh <laughs> winter in the shade so i've had on multiple layers of clothing all day long but we'll take that off because that that is getting a little warm right now picking up a dick blick glue stick i do have a little bit of juicy edging going on here uh oh i'm out of that so let's grab another one of those Big thanks to my friend Michelle, who just, she is my dick blick hookup. She <laughs> sends me dick blick glue sticks, and I'm just so grateful. I just, I love these things. They are my go-to glue uh, for doing things like this. So, I just want to, like I said, I've kind of got this juicy edge built up. If you don't know what juicy edges are, then... Um, uh, check you out some Jenny Belly, and I will put a link to Jenny's um, a link to Jenny's Juicy Edge, you know, journal video. It is marvelous, and once you kind of start doing juicy edges, it's kind of like, er, you know, I can't get away from it. Just like today, when I flip to do my Tuesday list. And I realized I didn't have juicy edges there. It's like, oh, I want a juicy edge. Where did it go? I need it back. So, um, we'll, just, we'll just build us some right here. I love doing this. To me, it's super meditative and it's very calming. It's quite centering it is just um it's 
just a wonderful little way to add pizzazz to your page and it doesn't take very long. One of the things that I truly love about it is that you don't got to think about it very much. You can just pick up your glue stick and start having fun and really, you know, kind of lose yourself in the meditation of putting the colors down on your page. And that is kind of what it's all about, right? I mean, isn't that what art is all about? It's about kind of losing yourself in your creation. Uh, you'll, you'll, if you've never done this before, you might want to just, um, sometimes y'all, you can, and this is an easy thing to do right here. We get kind of, here we go. We caught up two pages in there. Let's do that. You're basically just folding a piece of paper over the edge of your journal page uh, or of your planner page or whatever you call your daily book or your commonplace page or whatever. But sometimes, and here, I'll do one right here. I like, I like things that stick out a little bit, so I wanted that to kind of stick out. You can use whatever you want. You can use lace. You can use tatting. You can use, um, I like to use washi tape. The end of, a, of pieces of washi tape are really super handy. Um, you can use old stickers. You can use new stickers. You can use whatever you want. You know, just to build the page. And it's really, really, really fun. And you know, if you want to, you can get complicated with it. But I like simplicity. And to me, this is just a simple, easy way to add color. You're, you're going to be surprised, y'all, because you... You know, we talk about breaking a page... And how that is sometimes a task to break a page. And this is a perfect way to break a page. Because you're getting some color down. You're getting some texture down. You're getting some interest down. And then, you know, you just don't know what's going to happen from there. I've got... Um, Okay, I'm going to stop right there for just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and get my Sharpie, which is my favorite thing in the whole wide world, and my Tim Holtz ruler. And what we're going to do right here is I'm just going to edge this like this. You make that one a little... And then I'm going to add some paint because I can and because it's fun and because I like to paint. You can see how that I kind of finished the juicy edges here and then brought in some text right there and did some painting. So that's kind of the, the same thing that I'm going to do here. I've got some pink paint. Probably should have gotten purple, but again, you know, don't be too fussed about it. Just kind of let it flow, let it happen, be happy with it. Uh, don't question yourself too much about color or pattern or shape or what am I going to do or anything like that. Just let it go. Sometimes you just got to do that. In order to, especially, you know, lately I have not been feeling very mojo-ish. Um, I have had a lot going on and I just haven't felt it. Um, but I've been doing other creative things and mostly my creative things right now are gardening and growing food since the pandemic does not seem to kind of be going away or getting better. I have become very interested in um, self-reliance, sustainability, that kind of thing. I used to watch The Walking Dead a lot, and 
I stopped watching because I did not like the character of Negan, and I felt like he went on too long, and it just never really, you know, I, I wanted him out of there, and just, I think he's still on the show. I was like, erg, I don't like that character. Anyway, so I stopped watching after about 10 years of watching, nine years of watching. But anyway, you know, part of the reason that I liked The Walking Dead was because, you know, they had to create a, a life as the world, as they knew it, and did. So, you know, I've always been into apocalypti and, um, you know, dystopian novels, dystopian dramas, the end of the world never ceases to amaze me. I did not think that we would be living through, you know, a kind of, uh, not end of the world, just end of the world kind of as we knew it, you know. I think about the last time I went anywhere without a mask, you know, I mean, did we know that was going to be the last time? You know, did we know that we were, that it was going to be <laughs> the last time that we would, could, in comfort, enjoy going to a restaurant or, you know, to the movies? I know lots of people are going to, well, not lots, but some people are going to the movies. And I'm just, I didn't like to go to the movies before COVID because I just felt like it was a germy environment. Um... So I didn't really enjoy that before. But, you know, you think about the last time that you did something. And it was like, wow, you know, I didn't know that was going to be like the last time I was going to you know, go see a live show. Travel. We just didn't know, did we? My painting is kind of sloppy, but you know what? really enjoy it. If you want to see someone really do beautiful things in a journal with paint, uh, you'll want to watch Leanne at Creatively Free To Be Me. I always leave her channel, Cat Hand and Shannon Green, in my description box below. Please don't blame me when you go to their YouTube channel and you spend three days watching watching YouTubes. Because that's the kind of lazies they are. Alright. So we got that done. Now, I'm going to go back after the paint draws and darken in that, that line that I did with the Sharpie. Mr. Dick Blick glue stick, you are great. I want to do something. I want to maybe, you know, make a few little hmm, better, better than, better now. I like that. Let's just put that up here. You kind of just build your daily lists or your recipes or your to do list or your. Um, you know, whatever you're using this as around the uh, decor that you're putting in. You know, like I said, this is an accidental art journal. Totally accidental. I did not mean to do this, but, you know, it just, it just turned out that this, this was the, you know, this was the fun thing to do. So, you know, when in doubt. Always do the fun thing because it's fun. There we go. I sure do hope that's not my dog. Hold on. Okay, so he must just be barking downstairs. We have a new puppy, and he's precious, and he is six months old, and he likes to chew on everything, and sometimes me and I just need a break, and so we come upstairs and have a little break. 
because he is a rambunctious boy. Um, I kind of thought I was maybe going to do a wee bit of slow sewing, but I kind of just like what I got going on. Uh, so no slow sewing. Let's uh, kind of loosely outline this. And then loosely outline that. And go ahead and do these lines one more time. So, you know, accidental, accidental art journal planner thingy. Accidental journal page. Happy accidents, right? <laughs> okay, guys, that is it for me. I've got my Tuesday list, my Wednesday list. I did smash a little paint here. I'm not worried about that either. So now I am ready to start planning the rest of the week. I hope that you guys had fun watching this video. Try it out. Love those juicy edges. Have fun. See you soon. Bye.